Now, we've been talking a bit earlier on about prize fire to the journeymen, whether it will or whether it won't happen. It's, it's up in the air because Sky would be understandably reluctant to be involved because it looks like they're promoting, you know, eight guys are, are, are losers. But there's a little bit more to it than that, to be perfectly honest with you. I did um, send a text to Adam Smith, the boss man at Sky, but he never replied uh, to my text. Um, I think he's a little bit upset because I was slightly critical of the show, suggesting that it, uh, it ignored Carl Froch uh, until it looked like they might sign Carl Froch. Then suddenly they started to put Carl Froch on their channel. So his fight against the, the run-up to his fight against Arthur Abraham was uh, well not mentioned. So I voiced that in a podcast. Adam didn't like it. Neither here nor there and hasn't replied to my email. So I don't know what the official Sky stance is on the prize fight to the journeyman, but I know what the official Sky stance is on the light heavyweights next Saturday, the 29th, I think that is, at Olympia. Why haven't I got a drum roll when I need it? Because it will be, as usual, the prize fighter never fails to deliver. Even a, what people call, well, it wasn't a great prize fight, it was still a great night's entertainment. Eight more light heavyweights, all of them, Itching to win it, not just for the 32 grand and the ridiculous cup. No one's got a mantelpiece for that cup, I can assure you. Um, you know what, well, let's have a drum roll anyway. Come on, let's have a prize fight, a drum roll. That's not bad. It wasn't much of a drum roll, but that's neither here. It's like a primary school drum roll. Anyway, uh, the prize fight, the second place, 29th of, uh, uh, 29th of this month at Olympia, eight boxers. Now, the winner of this isn't guaranteed a Commonwealth or a British title fight because certain things can happen. But I've got to tell you, the recent list of fighters that have won prize fighter, Audley went on to win to fight for a world title over in McKenzie, went on to fight for the Commonwealth title. Uh, Willie Casey, who won last year, he's gone on to fight for and win the European title. Prince Aaron was meant to be fighting for the British title. It gets your places. It really does. Now, I've got one of the eight boys actually in my studio here, brought, come in with his manager, advisor, mentor, whatever, Mickey Elliott, who was on a couple of weeks ago. And Mickey, first of all, welcome to you. You've got, Just, um, uh, you haven't signed up many, back. you're still only on 400 fighters. You haven't signed up yeah, any more yeah, of you yeah. since the last time I spoke to you. <laughs> yeah, you signed a couple this week. Okay, 402. Couple of talking about exactly. <laughs> we'll see how we go with that. And I'm delighted to say that Joe, Joe just Smythe or Smith, how are we pronouncing it? Smythe. Smythe. Posh jo Smith. Jo jo posh, po there you go. Joe Posh Smith. Hello. Smythe is here. Uh, <laughs> Joe, first of all, welcome to the show. Cheers, Dave. Um, have, you seen, have you actually been at a prize fight tonight? Oh, I Has haven't, been... no. I've seen oh. the last couple. But, uh, I've got Doesn't the matter. Of it. You've got to be there. Yeah. Uh, am I right, Mickey? You've no, got to be. Absolutely, yeah. You're, I mean, I, I know you've seen it on TV and you think you've seen what's happening. It's chaos. It's brilliant chaos. <laughs> he, he is prize fighter all over. His it, style of boxing. It suits it. Bang, 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 bang. Don't stop. <laughs> and is that because... As an amateur, you mixed with, and we're in the same squads, as a whole list of, you know, all of our Olympic guys and those world championship guys. Is that yeah. because the three threes will suit you, you think? Definitely, you? yeah. I mean, I was in a great team. Uh, as, as I said before, like, like so James DeGale, Tony Jeffries, Frankie Gavin, as you say, the list goes all on. All the big boys. All of them, yeah. I mean, I definitely, definitely should be up there with them, and hopefully this will put me back up to where I feel like I should, uh, should be. I mean, it is, it, it is a catapult now, isn't it, Mickey, Price? I mean, yeah, it's fair yeah, to yeah. say, you know, it's not... It, it, it's not guaranteed you're going to walk into a big fight, but it, it almost it almost it pushes you right there because Sky want yeah, they want they want challenges in the other corner that their viewers have seen before. I'm familiar with absolutely, and I mean, prize fighter needs fighters like Joe because he is excited. He's Mister Excitement. You so can't hungry, get more excited. Hungry. Yeah. You've only lost the once, haven't you? So Just the once. Yeah. That doesn't slight the, hiccup. There's nothing wrong with slight hiccup. No. No, no. We're, we're building a fighter. He, he ducked nobody. And I think also Joe needs prize fight because it will put him on. It's a platform for him. Yeah. And I know in the the eight fighters there plus the two reserves, whoever they put in front of him, wasn't the draw done today? I think it's yeah. going on. No, 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 no. They've already put. They've already oh, put yeah. Let me. Uh, let, if, if anyone, <laughs> if anyone's, uh, if you're listening and you're you're and you're writing online as well, tell me you Joe's uh, fighting because the people in the studio don't know. I know it's. I know it's been. I know it's taken place as we speak. Ringside yeah, yeah. Sky put out their TV show at the same time as I'm on yeah, air. They used yeah, to put yeah, it out yeah. at nine o'clock. <laughs> they've really got it in for me since I criticised <laughs> that tiny ring. They don't even want to be my friend anymore. They're not even returning my texts, let alone giving me. Um, I've got no chance of getting on there. Not, at least they return their text, even if they say, get lost. 
Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, one one guy on here on online, Alan Wright, he says the slaughtering of ringside was out of order. Yeah, Alan, it was out of order. And was it out of order that they didn't include Carl Froch in their first 15 programs? Was that out of order, mate? One of our best ever world champions who'd fought his heart out in different parts around the world was invisible in September and October and November and only made Sky's ringside in after beating Arthur Abraham. Wasn't that out of order, Alan? Did you write online then, Alan, and complain? to Sky. Alan, did you then? Well, that's what I'm saying, fella. You understand me? OK? That's, that's the way it works, Alan, you see? Because you can't just post the slaughtering of ringside was out of order, Buncey, because I've got, I've got the right to reply to you. There and you if go. you... And they missed out Carl Froch. And that was a disgrace. Criminal. I don't want to keep going over it. They missed out Carl Froch for three months. Don't say too much. They might kick you off on account <laughs> yeah, yeah, of being, <laughs> being close to me. Joe, let me take you back to, to this... Um, what, what's your plan? Are you going to are you going to sit down between fights? Or are you going to try and just stay on your feet for two hours? What's you going to do? Well, what's your plan when you get there on on the night? Because it's it, as I say, it's you, you don't take your gloves off, have a rub down, and sit no, down definitely. comfortably. You, you know you've got yeah, to keep we, going. We've been through it. All. We're, we're ready to fight anyone. Uh, looking forward to as I say about the draw. Not too bothered about the draw because um, really should be able to beat all of them, which I. I think I've got the tools to do, definitely. As you say, from your amateur days. Yeah. I'm, I think that suits this sort of thing, prize fire. Get back on your toes, in and out, you know, keep them swinging. Um, yeah, d definitely. You obviously got to keep warm in between. Uh, it'd be nice to make short work of some of them. It would be nice to make short work of some of them, but if you go too fast, too hard, too early, you can blow it. I've seen that. Guys having early stoppages or really big early wins, leave, not leaving themselves a lot. But here's the thing that Martin Rogan told me after... He uh, won the first one. Let me get a pen. All right, no, yeah. he said there's no plan. And uh, you know, he told me this like, but only about uh, six months ago. I'll tell you when he told me that, just after or before the Sprott last one. And I, I had Marty on the phone. I said, Marty, so what, what do you do? He said, Bansi, forget it. There's no plan. And there is no plan. So you yeah. can, you can, you can, can come you up. How can you plan for chaos? Thank you. <laughs> You Mickey, go. you take a look. How can you plan for chaos? You've just got to get there on the night, fit and healthy, with the right type of food, boost and energy style food, and just try not to get cut and just get in. By the way, you're boxing uh, Mene Edwards. There you go. Tells me. Did you know that? I mean, I didn't know that. No. No. I don't know no. what side of the draw you're but in. For every opponent, we've got a, a different plan for each one. Mene Edwards, no problem. Bring oh, it on. Bring it on, as they say yeah, yeah. in the trade. Uh, Joe, if, if you did win this, okay, and, and you've got as much chance of any, as any of them, I suppose. I suppose Tony Dodson might start as an experienced favourite. He might start as a, but listen, not, not a lot, not a lot in it. Joe's come from fourteen to one. He's now four to one. Wow, He's, odds. A, He's the big pun up. Backed in. Yeah, yeah back. I mean, look, Tony Dodson, great fighter. Yeah, four or five years ago, I remember sitting there watching him, thinking, fantastic fire. Now I'm in the mix of them, so wow. it, it's good to be up there with that anyway. But uh, that's been I, back. That, that's been back right down that, Joe. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. Someone well, they've, had a few, they've had a few quid in St Albans on that boy, yeah, haven't they? They've been has. watching me training. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the point I was, what I was going to say was, if you if you did win it, it would be your, your, your ninth, tenth, and eleventh fight, but only only three threes. Um, and I'll ask you this, and not not Mickey, maybe right. Mickey a bit later on. Uh, do you think that you could then say fight? Uh, I don't know a value for the for the British or the Commonwealth title. Do you think that that, that you've got? I mean, you know, because you're a sensible boy, you've been yeah. around at amateur yeah. level, so you're not gung ho. You don't. You know, hey, do, do you think yeah. you could do? What do you think? Possibly. I mean, look, Tony Belly's a great fire, strong yeah. lad. Um, he's got a lot of talent. Again, I put myself up there with him. I mean, obviously, to date, I've only done four round fights, but you know, as long as you get the rounds in the sparring, mm. I'll, you know, I'll do sort of six, seven, eight rounds easy in sparring. So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to think that I'd, I'd be in there, up the top with him. So. Um, I'd choose this as a platform, really, one step at a time. And you, Mickey, or would you like to see him get a eight, couple of eight rounders yeah, in? Yeah, or, definitely. Or, yeah, I mean, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not going to put a guy that's only done four in with a guy that's yeah, done the, the, 12. Yeah, that's done 12 a couple of times and, and yeah. our fancies yeah. it as well. If, if he comes work. through it, we'll, yeah. we'll go six rounds, eight rounds, yeah. ten rounds. But because of his amateur pedigree, yeah, we can step it up uh, probably quicker than... Now, earlier on, I don't know if you heard, I had um, uh, Johnny Greaves on talking about... Um, Journeyman and the potential of a prize fighter on Sky, and I, ho I hope it happens because uh, you know let's get it right. I mean you know Sky Sky can make that happen, and I hope it does. Sky being the best thing, by the way, and I might not ringside for not having Carl Froch on, but Sky being let's put this absolutely straight categorically, Sky being the thing that saved British boxing 20 years ago and kept it going. I'm knocking one aspect of one of their shows. They are still and Adam Smith, Johnny, all of the boys. They're they're a fantastic <laughs> fantastic team. But if I can't say that I think it was outrageous that they didn't mention Carl Froch for three months, then I might as well move back to Chile 
But Steve, we know boxing, the goats. boxing isn't a fair sport. Yeah, that's the truth. It's not, <laughs> as, Don it, King, it's as Don King famously said, in boxing, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate, and that's the way, the yeah. way it works. Um, Mickey, let me ask you about... I'll ask you, I'll ask you first, actually, Joe. Uh, do you think a, a journeyman prize fighter would work? You know, guys that have lost most of their fights but are all, you know, good. They've been in with good guys. Yeah, I do, definitely. Do yeah. you think the public would like it? I would, think would, so. Would it appeal to them? In general, I think prize fighter is the most exciting thing at the minute in British boxing, yeah. all aspects of it. But, yeah, definitely. Like, like, I was chatting to Mick about it earlier, fair enough. He was saying that he had a couple of journeymen and put them... To, to fight each other on the show, and he's the best fighter of the night. Yeah. I think that one went down to three, time. four times. I, I and did. We done our Christmas Mayfair Sporting Club show at the Savoy. First show back at the Savoy just recently, and a fight fell through. I manage a guy called Becky Moyer. I think he's lost twenty-two out of twenty-three. So he just—he's the same. He'll go at a day's notice, an hour's notice. Yeah, I got my bag. I'm off. And uh, Gavin Putney. I think he's lost nine out of ten or something. And I, I just said to both of them, all right, look, the money ain't great. You get a chance to get a win. Do you want to fight each other? They both straight away, yeah, we'll do it. We put it on. The Savoy, it's not a typical boxing crowd. It's black tie. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of the people, it's the first time they've ever been to a boxing match before. I'm not joking. Uh, there was knockdowns. They flew at each other from the first bell. They were completely <laughs> exhausted by because rather than going to survive, they actually went to have a rumble. And... Like I say, halfway through the second round, they had nothing left, either of them. It was a great fight. Punters loved it. The oh, whole place was on their feet. Guy, guys that normally would be sitting there talking to each other, clapping, sort of, you know, half paying attention, were got really in, by the end of the night, they were boxing fans. So I, I, I have a, a, a inkling that suddenly, when I first heard of it, I thought, it's not going to be good, you know, mm -hmm. two guys trying to survive against each other no, for three no. rounds, terrible. But if they see it as the opportunity, as those guys did at the Savoy... Yeah, I think it works. Well, well, then, and, what, yeah. and what he was saying, Johnny, was that, you know, trust me, Steve, he said, to have that to have that trophy and the money, that'd be great, yeah. don't get me wrong. He said, but to be known as the best pri the best journeyman, he said, that would be an honour. No, they and still he, have pride, really these guys. It. They still have pride. Okay, listen, they've got unbelievable pride. You, you know, Greaves at the moment, he doesn't want to, I mean, he knows he's got. He knows he's going to lose. He, know, he knows he can't win on points. He said, there's no way they're going to let a bum like me beat one of their big fighters if it goes distance and I'm not a banger. But he's got pride and he annoys people. He, he's, a, he's, he's nasty. He winds people up. Great journeyman. Terrible. He is a great journeyman. There you go. And on that, Mickey Ellett and Joe Smythe are going to leave it. Joe, good luck on Saturday thanks a lot. week. I'll see you down good there. Man. Mickey, thanks for once good again be here again. making the journey in. And Cheers, uh, listen, you keep churning up fighters. I'll keep getting you in. It's as simple as that. These Pleasure. doors are open to anybody, whether you box on Sky or you box on Premier <laughs> or you box completely behind closed doors. If you get hold of me or I get hold of you, you can end up getting on the show. A bit of news to